Hi, I'm so excited to be here right now with Dr. Demesmond, the head of the University Pain Medicine Center and the head of the Bella New York Magazine Medical Advisory Board. Thank you, I'm very happy to be here. Well, that's Good great. It's so exciting. Well, I know that we have worked on a lot of things in the magazine, but I'm really um, excited to explain to the audience um, what specifically you do. Minimally invasive pain management. So essentially what that is, is using alternative technique instead of just using like big operation to treat a patient's back pain and neck pain, etc. So we can use small tools specifically to go from the skin to where the problem is in order to fix it with using a camera, lasers, and using pituitaries, which are like graspers to remove where the problem is coming from. So essentially, I use the latest technologies available to treat patients with chronic pain disorders. We also use a lot of what we call stem cells, so essentially using the body's own natural healing properties to help treat the problem. So what we do, we use the same blood products that you have and we inject it directly into areas that are injured. So letting the body heal itself essentially. So we use the latest and greatest treatment available to treat patients with various pain disorders. So also, can you tell me a little bit about regenerative medicine and how it's helping people? Yeah, regenerative medicine is actually a new field in medicine. Essentially what it is, is using the patient's on stem cells to help the body heal itself. So a lot of time, when a patient has a disc injury, for example, there's a lot of time blood cannot go directly to the problem. So what we do, we, we use a patient on stem cell and deliver it directly in areas that are injured. So a lot of athletes sometimes, instead of just getting like a big operations that can get them out of work, out of the training field by using the patients on stem cell, you can actually just not only treat the pain but also help repair the problem so the patient can go back to doing their natural function without scarring a lot of side effects. So do you see this as really being like the cure-all at some point for most people's ailments? Yeah, unsure is going to be the cure-all, but I think it's a big step in helping improve science, essentially, because there's so many things in medicine that we don't know. Even the field of pain management, we're looking at the first time we discovered a disc herniation can cause problems in 1935. So it's still very, very, very young. So as these things come to the forefront, there's a lot of studies. I'm actually involved in research. I do a lot of research in my practice. So I'm actually at the forefront of trying to discover new ways to get people better, to get people living healthier, longer lives, and be able to do things importantly what they like to do, restore them back to function in addition to just reducing their pain. So I also know that you um, are very focused on minimally invasive surgeries. What is the difference, say, between you know a regular invasive versus what you do, which is minimal? Essentially, minimally invasive surgery, it's an alternative to treat the same condition you would treat if a patient has like a open surgery. So essentially, if a patient has a back lumbar problem, like a back herniation, neck herniation, you can use like a big open procedure to fix it. So there's gonna be a lot of tissue trauma and the patient may be out of work for quite some time. By using minimally invasive surgery, essentially you make a small incision, you go directly from the skin, directly to where the problem is. We use a specialized camera so we can see exactly precisely what's going on. And using a laser essentially allows you to carve out to reduce where the problem's coming from. And the patient can go back to work within a week with less yeah. trauma and you actually have less, what we call morbidity, which is actually like a, a side effects that can occur. How can the audience find you and come and visit you? So I'm, I'm located in Somerset, New Jersey, and also we have a practice in New York and also in Florida as well. So you can visit our website, and you can also visit the Bella website, so you're gonna see some of our information at the Bella Magazine website as well. That's right, actually bellanewyork.com and bellala.com. As I said, Dr. Demesman is the head of the Bella Medical Advisory Board and we take our lead from him as to our medical content, what's hot, what is the best for our readers, and we're absolutely thrilled to have him on board.